Welcome back to the bluegrass and it's a beautiful March day. It's about 60 something degrees. It's a little overcast. It's been raining some, but man, I tell you what, there's nothing like the beginning of spring. And the first time it breaks 60 degrees, I'm, uh, I'm breaking out the shorts. So all the rest of the videos you see this year, I'm going to be wearing some shorts with some short inseams so everybody can make fun of me and I'm going to be enjoying the good weather. Okay. Now this is my little buddy Vern. We have a quick video for you today. Come up here and show them how cute Vern is. Now, Vern is what is known as an English Labrador Retriever, what they like to call them. That just kind of means that they've uh, got these little square heads on them, little square bodies. And uh, <clears throat> I've got my main man Henry back here. We're just going to try to teach uh, Vern how to swim a little bit. Come on, Vern. Now, theoretically, my job should be as simple as I come over here to the pond and I reach in my pack and I grab a dummy. I show it to Vern and I throw it out in the water and Vern goes and gets it or at least he watches Henry go get it and then he does the same. But here's kind of what ends up happening to us. Watch, I'll throw it for Henry and Vern will go out here but what they'll do in the beginning stages is they will go to what's called the neutral buoyancy point. So right at the point to where the water is deep enough to make the dogs kind of float, their, their, you know, their, their feet come off the ground then uh, they want to turn around and go back to the bank. Which that kind of makes sense for them because when they first start trying to swim, they're like, uh, they don't know what that is, you know. And dogs are natural swimmers. But, uh, let me see. I'll try to just go up. Just stay right there, cameraman. I'll go that way and then I'll come back. And so, like right here, you can't see. I'll turn around so you can see. But what's happening is right as, right as, right as Vern goes to... Uh, to uh, floating, he'll like put his foot out and, and paw at the water, or he gets a little, he gets his nose down in the water, and that makes him want to turn around and go back to the bank. Okay, so now you'll notice I have a lot of leash tension. What I can't do is let him turn around and go back to the bank. Okay, I've got to teach him to overcome this fear of being in the water because you know the swimming comes natural to the dog. So once he figures out he can swim, then he'll be in here with these other guys all the time. So we'll go back to our dummy. Watch. We we'll throw it for Henry. And we'll watch Henry go. Now, we're just going to kind of take off and we're going to walk and do the same thing. Now, here we go. Now I've got him swimming. He's fairly comfortable because Henry's out here swimming with him. Now, all I have to do is watch out for holes. So I'm going to go right over to this side of the pond. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up in these weeds until the dog's feet touch the ground and he's no longer floating. Then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to go back. So I started at a spot where Vern could stand. I walked him across the deep part of the pond where he had to swim. Then when he got to the other side he figured out he could stand again. And all I'm trying to make him understand is that if he just swims, he's always going to find an area of safety. And so uh, just a few repetitions of that. Come on, one more time, Vern. Just a few repetitions of that, and all that fear and panic will be gone. This is where most of you guys, you have a little bit of trouble. See right here where he doesn't want to go back? Sometimes you just kind of got to make him go back. Get to the neutral buoyancy point, that's where they'll stick. And then, once they get to swimming, then instinct takes over and they do just fine. We get to the other edge of the pond, he can stand up again, and you'll run into the same problem coming back. But with each repetition, the sticking points will be less and less the dog will be able to swim better and better and then as he has more successful repetitions his confidence will grow and after somewhere in the neighborhood of you know three to maybe eight repetitions you know they'll start to figure it out and you can let them go back to the truck and then just try to stack you some successful days you know come out and get you three four five reps and uh, then come out tomorrow get you three four five reps or come out next week and just stay focused on making incremental progress, okay? So, that's your pro tip for the day. 
when you're introducing your dog to water, take a mentor dog if you can, and make sure that you get out there with them and you help them get over the sticky points, because once the sticky points are gone, then it's off to the races and they just love being in the water. See y'all next week.